love and the heart and soul you put into selling the When Life Gives You Lemons warmer. It reminds me of my daughter Alex and how she poured her heart into selling lemonade so she could help other kids like her who were fighting cancer. When she set up her front yard lemonade stand over 19 years ago with a little table and a pitcher of lemonade, I thought she would raise five or ten dollars. I couldn't imagine that she was starting a movement. But people like yourselves joined in and contributed what they could to help her. Before she died, she had raised one million dollars and created a Today is exactly 15 years that Alex took her last breath, August 1st, 2004. She was eight years old. So it's especially meaningful for me to be here today and see how her legacy has continued. Our lives have continued as they should. Our other children, three boys, have far surpassed her in age and milestones. The years since Alex died have created a divide between us, a divide that can't be bridged it's filled with lost years and smiles and memories, all the things we could have done together. But I have some good news. That divide also represents possibilities. For me as a mom, it's the possibilities of what Alex could have become, and I smile thinking about that today. But even more special is that it represents the possibilities we have to close that divide for other children and their families, to make sure that their lives are in front of them, that the children grow up to live their dreams Now Alex's Lemonade Stand has raised over $175 million for one of the largest funders I have. It's amazing. <laughs> largest funders in research and cures and family services for kids with cancer in the country. And it's paying off. We've met families. I can't even tell you. One of the bracelets I'm wearing is from a little girl um, who shared the story, same story as Alex. She was considered incurable. But because of research funded by Alex's, she was cured. She's been five years cancer free. Families like this little girl can get to those cures by providing travel to them. Last year, we helped a thousand families travel for the care their children needed. We are literally putting cures within the reach of new families. Her legacy is saving lives, and I could not be more excited about the future and the possibilities. And thank you so much for being a part of it. It's truly a joy to be here today. I'm filled with gratitude, as are all of the childhood cancer families that I represent, and Alex always was. And it's really, I guess, perfect on this day of all days to follow Amanda because she talked about gratitude a lot. And I wanted to share a quick story with you before I close my remarks about how she lived her life with gratitude. And it was a story at the end of her life, so just about this time, 15 years ago, she was very sick, she was in and out of the hospital. And here we were in the middle of the night, taking her to the hospital again. She was having terrible problems, and it was awful. And my husband turned to her and he said, I'm so sorry, Alex. And she said, for what? And he said, for everything. Because it was heartbreaking and there was nothing we could do. And she didn't hesitate, she didn't even pause. She said, if there's one thing you should know about me by now, I'm happy for what I have, not unhappy for what I don't have. <laughs> and if you think about that in that moment when she could have screamed and kicked and said, no, I hate you, I hate this, it's not fair. To say she was grateful meant so much to us as her parents, but I think it was a gift and I like to share it with others because it says a lot about what you can do with your life if you live it with gratitude. You can do incredible things and you can really change the world. So thank you so much for being a part of continuing that.
present you with this check for $171,975.